Okay, today let's show you how to get data from uh, API. Say for example, in this property market statistics provided by the rating and valuation department of the Hong Kong government for those data series with this uh, green label API available, then you can uh, get the data based on the API uh, URL address. So say for example here, I find two series with API available for this one private retail, a rental and price indices. So if I click this index, then uh, of course you can have some preview of the data set in months and then the rental index and the price index. Uh, you can also make use of this API builder to filter the data you can export to uh, your preferred format. So click this. API builder. So then you can choose monthly data, quarterly data, or any data. So then uh, for monthly data, you can choose which year. Say, for example, I would like to choose year beginning with 1997 and besides that, uh, any other future. Say, for example, we include rent and price. Then with these filters, then we can get the JSON format API query string here. Right, it looks very complicated and it also shows the query result with uh, the year column and then month column, rental index and price index. Then uh, you can either export the result or if we are going to use of the collab to uh, get the API data, then we copy this API query string. Now here is the collab. So first of all, we import request library, and then here URL equals to open bracket, open quotation mark. Then this is the API. Okay, here we include the API query string. So by means of this URL, but we also define response to be equal to the request dot get this URL. Then let's show you what will be the result. Yeah. So here shows you the result in JSON format with the variable and then the result in January 1997. Rental index is 119.3 and price index is 150.8. So this is uh, how an API query string can be generated by an API builder and then put into a collab to get, a, to get the data directly from the raw data set. But then uh, if there's no API builder provided, then how can we specify in an API by ourselves? And here, the uh, Euro stack provide a, a detailed explanation of the structure. Uh, the first part refers to the host URL. Say, for example, this is provided by the Eurostack, and uh, it is in our EST API service uh, for data in version number. And then the middle part refers to the format. Here is JSON format. The language is English, and the data set name is a national account for GDP well, with one uh, position and the unit of measure is the chain length value. Uh, we make use of the 2010. So let me show you our specification. First of all, we also import the request. Then we specify the URL and here you will find the first part refers to the host URL and then the data in rest format, uh, JSON format, English, the database name, and then the position. Uh, and here I explain that right, the geo location R D E stand for Germany and NL stand for the land. And then the national account item is B1GQ. B1GQ stands for gross domestic product and market prices. And then the unit measure is CLV10. The CLV10 refers to the chain the length of value in 2010 million euro. And the last 
trim tab refers to the time is 2019 and 2020. Okay, so with this specification, then let's see whether you can get the data from the API. Yeah, here the final value refers to 2019 Germany's GDP, 2020 Germany GDP, 2019 the Netherlands GDP, and 2020 the Netherlands GDP. Demonstration on how to use the Curie uh, API Builder to generate the API uh, Curie Exchange in the Eurostack. So you will find that in Eurostack, uh, they provide a Curie uh, Builder for JSON. Then first of all, it asks you to enter a, a database code. If you have no ideas about the code, then you have to go back to the data score and then to uh, search the uh, table of contents, right? To identify the data set code. Well, assuming now we know, right? There's a, a national account for the EU GDP database. That is NAMA underscore 10 underscore GDP and click next. And here is the uh, query builder. So it mentioned that uh, the name of this Database is GDP and main components. And so for time selection, uh, there are four options. Let's say, right, we would like to output GDP since the year uh, 2001. And then for the location, the geo, here yeah, show you the Coke. Say, for example, if we would like to show uh, Germany and France, then here allowed you to choose the, uh, the base and the currency. So I prefer the chain link volume in 2010 at the base and in uh, euros. So I choose this CLV10 underscore MEUR here, right? Uh, B1GQ stand for uh, GDP and market price. So you can choose a label called uh, group indicator and uh, two decimal place, then you generate query filter. Right? So it provides this API query strange or what it calls the data set code. Then you can copy and paste this API query strange in collab to get the designated data set from your stack. That's it.